Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good morning, I'm Lauren Piesco. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg is coming to Midland for a rally with Congressman Dan Kildee in support of State Senator Kristen McDonald Rivet. Starts at 11 at the Central Park Banshell. And McDonald Rivet's challenger Paul Young will join Senate candidate Mike Rogers at the Trump Force 47 headquarters in Burton. Doors open at 11. The Department of Justice says it's sending election monitors to 86 counties and 27 states to ensure election integrity. That includes all seven contested swing states, along with a mix of traditionally red and blue states. The department has dispatched officials to voting sites since the Voting Rights Act of 1965. Their goal is to make sure vulnerable populations have access and to prevent unlawful partisan interference. Those monitors are expected in Flint, Grand Rapids, Detroit, Ann Arbor, Hamtramck, and Warren. Now here's meteorologist Diane Phillips with a look at your forecast. Our weekend is going to be a little bit back and forth, or at least 50-50 on a break here of the conditions that we will be seeing for your Saturday and a Sunday. For today, we have a lot of sunshine that's going to be coming through, mostly sunny skies, but because we are starting out on a cooler note, we will find highs that are only going to be into the lower 50s. By Sunday, we do warm it up a little bit, highs around 54 degrees, but the take is, is that we'll have some rainfall to track. We'll be watching that a little bit later into the day, but I also want to remind you this weekend is time change weekend. So before you go to bed tonight, don't forget to set your clocks back an hour. You can get up at 2 a.m. and do it, but if you want to get that extra sleep, you could do it before bed. Another thing that you should really take the time to do here during the time change is testing your smoke alarms. This is a great time to make sure that the batteries have not died, and it's always that annual reminder for us when we have the time change. So take advantage of this weekend to kind of check in on a couple of things around the house. By the time we wake up tomorrow morning, our sunrise is then going to be at 714 a.m. And then that sunset, however, will be at 523 p.m. So we are just shifting that daylight in the day and the hour. Uh, cloud cover, you will find that those conditions are not going to be all that clouded out today. We're going to be sitting at about a quarter percent or less for the clouds today. So plan on a lot of sunshine and the clouds that we do have, they'll be high up in the atmosphere. Thin, serious clouds they should allow that sunshine through if you do need to take advantage of the nice weather and get some raking done thankfully today is a great day to do that you have the green leaf we should also have those leaves that are fairly dry and the wind will be light so they will not be blowing over to your neighbors today you will have to take care of them as we go into sunday i have the yellow leaf here because we are looking at the potential for some rainfall but the timing could allow you at least a little bit of time to get out there and clean up some leaves now monday and tuesday not looking likely as we'll have wet weather both days and as we go into wednesday it looks like we have that green leaf appearing once again so the hour by hour this morning has the clear skies that we're waking up to so a lot of the sunshine and that is going to stay here through the day. But again, just a few of those thin clouds will be overhead, so they will not be carrying any rain and they shouldn't be blocking our sunshine all that much. Going into tomorrow morning, you're going to find we have a lot of cloud cover starting to build in. This is only the beginning because we have the rain chances. Now, the reason why the timing is a little bit in flux is because off towards our east, we have high pressure and that's going to try to slow this rainfall from coming in. So you may find that it's arrival time could potentially be a little bit faster than 9 p.m. But if it is a little bit later, that means that we have a good chunk of Sunday that looks good to do some of those outdoor chores. But once the rainfall comes in on Sunday, we will be watching then rainy conditions for Monday and Tuesday. Now highs today, we are looking at the low to mid 50. Some of us may be able to get past that 51 degree mark and you Yet the sunshine is still going to have to do a lot of work because it is so cool this morning. In the next seven days, we will be looking at breezy weather to go along with the rainfall. So plan on those winds to return, pick back up for Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. We'll have some rainfall to go along and 60s are on tap for Monday and Tuesday. But those seasonal 50s do return and we will see by late next week that we have some dry weather and sunshine headed our way.